Now, out of all the post Beatles solo debut albums, the one that was the most successful was the one that George did, All Things Must Pass. And whereas the other two records by Paul and John were very lo fi and minimalistic, the one that Harrison did had these full arrangements by Phil Spector and the Wall of Sound and everything. And there's one song in particular that has a great riff, and that's what we're gonna do today. So grab your guitar and let's see if you can play this riff. What is Life by George Harrison. Fantastic pop song with a brilliant riff. And of course, because it's a Harrison song, these spiritual lyrics, what is life, who am I? The quintessential life questions. But when you look at the song itself, it's actually very much a soul Motown type of a song. For example, the Supremes would do something like this. Baby love, baby love. What does Harrison do? The Supremes could have easily recorded that song as well. But what Harrison does add to the mix is a fantastic, real catchy bass line. And with that, it becomes even better. What I feel I can't say But my love is there for you any time of day That is so incredibly catchy. That's what makes the verse and the song. And that's also what we gotta play on the guitar, of course. But before we do that, we need to have the right sound on the guitar, because when you listen to the record, there's a bit of an awkward effect on his guitar. <laughs> Very distinctive guitar sound by George Harrison. And I think I know what effects he's using. Certainly there's a distortion, so what we need to get started is just a good overall distortion sound. And the program I use, as always, is Guitar Rig. In this case, Guitar Rig 6. Let's have a look. Character, distortion, amplifier, AC box will do, and mm, John Wright say pop. And that gives us five or six different options. Hopefully one of them will sound pretty good. Let's see, let's go for Nashville City Night. Let's have a listen. Well, that's not quite what we want, is it? First thing is to get rid of that delay. We don't need that. Ah, that's better, eh? but what he's really using is actually a fuzz box. That's what we need to get the sound that we hear in the record. Let's see if we can find it. Obviously, there's no fuzz effect in this default preset, so let's go to components and type in fuzz. Let's see what we get. Huh? Well, let's go for the big fuzz. It's a little bit of tweaking. This is way too much. Okay. <laughs> That's it! Okay, so let's take a closer look at how to actually play the riff. Now, the main riff of the chorus consists of two parts. Here is part one.
It's not really that difficult, is it? Part two is almost the same, except for the ending. Slight variation at the end. That's all there is to it. Now, the first thing you may notice is I'm using all four fingers. Eh? Some guitarists would rather not use their pinky or little finger, but when you play it like this, it's much harder to create a good legato. Legato meaning you connect the notes. And the other thing is, when you listen to the record, the long notes, Harrison is not using any vibrato at all. So don't do this. Unless you're into Ingwie Malmsteen, uh, you don't want to ruin the sound of this song. Eh? Keep those long notes plain and straight. Now that's 50% of the entire thing that we need to do. The other half is the riff that is played during the verse, that bass line, remember? And that's a pretty intricate little thing, so let's start simple. Here is level one. <laughs> And you might wonder why I do such an easy version and don't just play all the notes at once. Well, because you need to make sure that you've got this technique down of doing two strings with one finger. You don't see me do this. It's all done with one finger, tilting back and forth. Now, why not use two fingers, you might say? Well, if you're gonna do the entire thing with all the extra notes, this is what you get. As you can hear, there are slight gaps between some of the notes. There's no good legato, so it's impossible to play with a good legato. So we're looking for the least strain on the fingers in the most efficient and economic way to play the thing. And that is using one finger on two strings. Now, if you're able to do that, then and only then go for the entire thing, which is... Looks like an easy riff on the surface, but there are lots of these little, little intricate details which you need to have a good technique to be able to make it sound well. Okay guys, well, let's see if we can play the whole thing. I'll play it a little bit slower, grab your guitar. You can find the taps as always on my Patreon site. And let's see if together we can play this riff.